Hey there, hey there, Kingdom Kids. Miss Courtney here, and I'm back. And this week, we are going to talk about the greatest commandment. We're going to talk about loving your neighbor. Let's, let's start with that question. What's a neighbor? Hmm. You know, in your neighborhood, you got, or where you live, you can have neighbors next door. I got a neighbor over there. I got a neighbor over here. A neighbor over there. Um, if you live in an apartment building, so you got neighbors upstairs, downstairs, and it's neighbors everywhere. Even, even sitting in church, you you can remember sitting in church and you would hear uh, the minister or a pastor say, "Turn to your neighbor and say, that's your neighbor, they're, and they're right there." So today's lesson is talking about loving your neighbor. And what's the greatest commandment? So, I got my notes. I think we're ready to go. And we'll get to the scripture in just a second. So, loving your neighbor. Everything has a foundation. And I'm going to put my glasses down. Y'all already know. Don't play. So, we have to know things in order to build upon it. It's kind of like school. You know something about a certain animal and you can use that to learn more about the animal type deal. So we got to work with, which I already know, and keep on going until we get to the full meat of the lesson. Y'all already know. I'm a teacher. Quit playing. So now let's start with the alphabet. You know the alphabet, right? You might even know the song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, V, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. You know, the alphabet. And we need the alphabet. We need those letters and sounds to make words and create sentences. And then when we put them together, we can read like whole books or send letters and read emails and bills. That's a grown-up problem, just saying. But I can read them. So, and we can also read the most important book, which is God's Word, the Bible. Now, with that alphabet, we have to start with it as the foundation to our language. And there's a lot of things that require first step foundations. So, this is where we're getting into the steps of making things. What about pizza? What about pizza? You start with the, the dough, of course, and then you build it. So you got tomato sauce and you got cheese and or however you want to build yours. Mine would have loads of pepperoni on it, just saying. And so you build it, build it. You start with what you, you start with the bottom, you start with the foundation and you build and you build and you build. But what about our lives as Christians? Where's our foundation? And we know our hope and our salvation, our salvation comes from Jesus Christ. But, and where's our foundation, though? So that's what we're going to get into. So I want to start with our memory verses. And I don't have my Bible, but I totally have my Bible app. And we're going to go to Mark 12, verse 20, verses 29 through 31. And I am reading from the International Children's Version. Oh, I'm sorry, International Children's Bible, just for you. So Mark chapter 12, starting with verse 29. Jesus answered, the most important command is this. Listen, people of Israel, the Lord our God, he is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God. Love him. With all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. The second most important command is this. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. These two commands are the most important commands. So that is Mark chapter 12 verses 29 through 31 from the International Children's Bible. I mean, sounds pretty simple, right? Okay, 
We should love God, excuse me, love God with our heart, mind, soul, strength. Jesus said this is the greatest commandment. And the second greatest is to love our neighbor. So love God, love one another. It's not too complicated. And the most essential part is love. Oh, now, oh, and this reminds me of another little letter trick. So I've got my whiteboard and I've got my marker. Now, how do you spell joy? J-O-Y. So I'm going to write that on the board. Boop. All right. Erase a little bit of it. All right. And we've got joy. Now, excuse me, we can have true joy if we just follow this right here. So we should put whose name starts with a J. And if it's yours, that's great. But I'm talking about Jesus. <laughs> we should put Jesus first above all things. So I'm going to add, I'm going to write Jesus right there. And the O, what do you think the O stands for? And if anybody out there said others, you are right. So then we put others next. All right. And then finally yourself or you either one i'm gonna write both of them you yourself and if we pretty much just follow this we'll be good love jesus first love others next then yourself okay so this is how we can have true joy now is this easy? No, it is not. Sometimes we might not, you know, oh, and I hate to say it, but sometimes we might not want to put God first. And then we might not want to love others around us because sometimes, for real, for real, we just be feeling a little selfish. And I'm, I'm just worried about me. We do. Especially if, and oh, the loving others part, especially if like they're not our favorite person or they're not even very nice. It's hard, but God can help us get through this. So put Jesus first. He'll help you to love others. And you know, he's always got you. Okay. So let's sit that down. But God wants us to love him because he knows that he will bless our lives. He's got the power to do anything he wants to. He will bless us. And God loves us so, so, so much. So much. And he loved us before we were even born. That's how much he loves us. And he will always love us no matter what we do. Now, that doesn't mean you go on out there and act a fool. Let's, let's get one thing straight. Let's get it straight. Let's get it straight. Don't go out there acting a fool. Yes, he will love you if you make bad choices. But nobody said go out there and keep making bad choices. That's just silly. Fix it. But anyway. But God, God loves us no matter what. And he, of course, we know he sent his son to pay for our sins. And what better way to repay him than to just serve him with our, and love him with our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. So that's all I got for you. But I will tell you that this worksheet, well, let me put something on the back of it there we go so you can kind of see it a little better yep I know you kind of 
you might be able to see the kids in the background, but that's not the one that's going to be up there. It's going to be this one. So you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Then we want you to draw a picture in here and then send it to us. Okay. Send it back to us at children at ssclive.org. I know I said that really fast, but your parents should know the address. Children at ssclive.org. So that, that will be up on our, oh, our Google site. That will be there. So uh, our Google site address is in our Instagram and Facebook bios, parents. It is there. It's like sites.google.com forward slash view forward slash uh, St. Stephen Kingdom Kids forward slash home. Yeah, it's really long, but it is in our bio parents. So go check it out. Tons of stuff in there for you. And this paper will be there for your kiddos. Okay. So you'll be able to download it and um, print it and they can do the work, rock it out and send it back to children at sfclive.org. All right, friends, that is all I have. But before we go, as always, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us firm foundations. Help us to love you with all of who we are and help us love one another. Help us love one another. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your love. We love you so much, God. And it's in Jesus' mighty name that I do pray. And everyone said with me, amen. All right, friends, that is it. The greatest commandment, love God, love one another. Definitely love your neighbor. We're working on it. Yes, we're human. Yes, people get on our nerves sometimes, but we got to love them because God loved us a whole, whole lot. He still loves us. So we got to work on it. Love one another. Love God first, and then he's going to help you love those other people. All right? That's my time. So remember, if you need to back it up and go get the address for the Google site and then send it to us so we can put it on the website and all that good stuff and show what our kingdom kids is doing go on and back it up and do what you do but until next time friends love you guys and i will see you around bye